In order to fund his food consumption and keep a roof over his head, Paul had started stealing from local stores. The truth. Uh, Mr. Mason, first, the Commonwealth has agreed to convert the matter from a criminal charge to a civil charge, kind of like a speeding ticket. Okay. Uh, and that you'd be uh, found responsible. Yes, sir. And ordered to pay a $50 fine. Yes, sir. I would say it's probably not a good idea to go back and that shop for a while. But the very next day, Paul was caught by the store detective with over $1,000 worth of stolen goods and soon found himself back in front of a judge. Mason. Mr. Mason before the court on docket 1942CR194, alleging that on November 17, 2018, in the town of Athol, shoplifting by asportation. So you can either represent yourself or you can hire your own attorney at your own expense. What would you like to do? I have a friend who could represent me. No, it has to be an attorney. Oh, OK. Um, I'll represent myself then. All right. Paul was fined $250 by the court. The one good thing that uh, has come from this is Rebecca has come back into my life as a friend. Frankly, I feel responsible for Paul. I mean, he's here in the United States essentially because of me. I only ever wanted the best for Paul. And if the best for him now is just to go back to the UK, then, and I believe that it, it is at this point, then I want to help with that because he can't continue like this. When I left America, she obviously took me to the airport and um, the last words were, keep in touch. And I said, yeah, sure, we'll email each other. Do you miss him? Sometimes, yes. Most times, no. I don't miss the side of Rebecca who wants to control you. Do you think about your personal intimate side of the relationship? The intimacy between you? I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> 